Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video and Google just released the second developer preview of Android 14 codename Upside Down. Okay, the first change of course you're going to notice is that the security patch is from March 2023 and the Google Play system update is from April 2023. The build number has also changed to UPP2.230. 217.004. The next change you will notice is that in system notifications you have a new icon which does look like an upside down cake. And before you ask me, hey Manji, what about the Easter egg? Well, unfortunately, the Easter egg we have is still from Android 13. Android 14 Easter egg should be released in either the last beta or maybe in the stable build. But for now, you will have to do with the Android 13 Easter egg. A major change you will notice when you start using Android 14 Developer Preview 2 is the back arrow, if you're using your gesture navigation, is inside a pill. And the pill here is dynamic. It is going to change colors based on the wallpaper you are using. So it is working like a boss with Material U. Then, you, if you have enabled your predictive back gestures in developer options in the settings page, you will see it tells you that what is the next page you're going to land up on. So here it is, we are in lock screen settings. If I go back, I will land into display settings. Similarly, if I am in the phone app and I try to go back, there it is, you can see I have the home screen in the background. But for the messages app, that is not the case. So your predictive back gestures are working for some apps and they're not working for others then if you go into your display settings you will notice that you have the option of navigation mode if you go inside here you can of course switch between your gestures and your three button navigation and if you go into your system settings navigation mode is now on the main menu it is no longer part of gestures you have it on the main page and while we are in system settings if you go into languages and input you will see you have your regional preferences over here so you can change your temperature between celsius and fahrenheit you can change your startup day of the week or the first day of the week and you also have the option of numbers the only option right here for now is western digits but i'm pretty sure they are working on adding some more options Next up, if we go into wallpapers and style, herein you will notice a few changes. For starters, you have the option of clock settings. Now, this is to customize your lock screen clocks. Right now, it doesn't open up any special app or any other page, but the option is there. Then if you go into your basic colors, you will see this black and white theme, which is the monochrome theme, which has been added with Android 14 developer preview 2. Next up, if you go into change wallpaper and let us say we select this specific wallpaper, you will notice that the preview over here is in full screen previously you used to get a preview which was not in full screen but now your previews are in full screen then another hidden feature is that with android 14 you should be able to or you might be able to create wallpapers using emojis so that is something which is hidden behind a flag right now but it might come to the forefront with the next developer preview or maybe with the next beta Next up, those of you who miss the notification LED on your Android devices, you might have a workaround coming up with Android 14 Developer Preview 2. So if I go into settings and here and if I go into notifications, you're going to see I have the option of flash notifications. So you can use your camera for a flash notification and you can also tap on preview to get a preview of it similarly you can use your screen for a flash notification as well and here it is you get a preview of both of them if you tap on this screen flash notification you can in fact change the color and here it is we have successfully changed the color from red to green next up if you head into your settings and 
privacy. You will notice that most of the menu options here now have a separate page with a header and you also have an image. So here it is, device finders also has its own separate page. The same can be said for account security. Previously, you had some sliding menus, some had headers, some didn't have headers. So they've tried to make this more cohesive. Next up, if you head over to your settings and then we can go into the battery settings, you will notice you have a new option which says battery widget. Now, what is this battery widget? Well, here it is. You can touch and hold the widget to move it around to the home screen. So, or you can just tap on add to home screen and bam, here it is. Widget was added. It is of course going to show you the battery percentage of your connected Pixel Watch watch or maybe if you have the pixel buds pro or the pixel buds a it's going to show you the battery percentage of those devices as well next up with respect to your quick settings media player if you interact with it and press any button you are going to get this lava lamp kind of shimmering animation as you can see on your screen right now and on your media output Picker, you should also see a new change so when the song is muted you're going to see a new icon which can be seen on your screen right now and on certain devices you're also getting the option of speakers and display in the media output picker the next change you will notice in Android 14 Developer Preview 2 is in the at a glance widget on the lock screen. So here it is, as you can see, the weather, the date and the day are in two lines on the home screen. But if I jump over to the lock screen, for starters, there's a bug wherein the time doesn't show, but you will see that the day, the date and the weather are in a single line, whereas on Android 13 right now they are in sync so on your home screen and on your lock screen the at a glance widget is in two lines and while we're talking about lock screens there might be a hidden feature which might come up in the next build or maybe in the next beta which is your auto unlock or quick unlock when you enter the correct pin so as soon as you enter the correct pin you don't have to press the enter key on the keyboard it is going to auto unlock the device but do note i think the minimum they want you to set your pin to is six digits next up if you go into your settings and then if you go into apps scroll down go into special app access and you go down all the way you will notice that you have two new options over here as well so you have your manage full screen intents and you have the option of nfc launch Next up, if you have enabled the option of always show keyboard when you are accessing your application drawer, you will notice there's a change in the animation with Android 14 developer preview too. So let me open the application drawer on both these devices at the same time. You will notice that on Android 14 developer preview too, the keyboard swipes up at the same time. Whereas on Android 13, you open it and then the keyboard comes up. But here you will notice that the keyboard is coming up at the same time as you are swiping up. And here it is. You can see that animation in action on your screen right now. And last but not the least, with Android 14, you might be able to use your device as a webcam without any third-party application. And there it is, peeps. Those are the new features of Android 14 Developer Preview 2. If I did miss out on any feature, feel free to mention it in the comments on this video.